Right, it's service time for the Rover. So I'm just gently warming the oil. Um, and so that will hopefully come out nicely. Um, I was hoping there wasn't an under tray, and maybe there was one when it was new, but there isn't one now. So I'm pleased to see that the sun plug. I'm assuming that's the sun plug. There isn't a sun plug, is it? Where is a sun plug? Hmm. Nice bit of seepage down there from somewhere. I think where I find the sun plug is right up the back of it. I'm not going to get it up on my ramps very easily, unfortunately, because it's so low at the front like so many modern cars this is a source of annoyance oh this app's not very good but um slightly out of focus that's a 15 mil um because of course it is what an unusual size so i've had to use a ratchet spanner it's the only 15 mil i've got how bizarre and there's the oil filter and how easy that will be to undo looks like it's been there a while Right, we've got the new filter in place, which is a genuine MG Rover one. Look at that for posh. Um, I've got it dirty, which is a bit annoying because it's so white and clean. But the the oil coming out is um, nasty. It is properly dark. And um, I suspect this engine would actually benefit from another change before too long. Um, I've just cleaned up the engine oil cap, but you can see there's all sorts of crud on that still. And looking inside the engine, I can see some nasty black build-up. So th this might be a short-lived oil change. I might decide that the best thing to do is to um, have another go um, after a thousand miles or so. Uh, I've got spark plugs still to check and um, I'm gonna have to do them down the back of the engine. I'm not looking forward to those. Hmm. But here are where the Viz motors are located, I think variable intake system so in theory those boost your low rev torque by changing the induction length um, there are various race cars that used to have it where the induction tubes you could actually see them increase and decrease in length depending on what sort of a load there was on the engine um, i'm going to assume those are working because even though it actually seems to um, not have any low down torque i think that's just a characteristic of this engine because it's a two litre and um, yeah, it just hasn't got any torque. Well, that's just great. I wondered why it was... Oh, hold on. There it is. Noisy buggers. Right, let's try that with less jet engine. Um, yeah, I was getting worried because the oil can was filling up my catch tank and I thought this shows no sign of slowing down. So um, I managed to get the plug back in, go and drain that and empty it a second time. And uh, it turns out the oil capacity is 5.6 litres, which is enormous for a 2 litre engine. Um, presumably because it's quite a big 2 litre engine given you know the quad cams and all that gubbins. So I've poured the 5 litres in that I bought and it still isn't touching the bottom of the dipstick yet, I don't think. Well, that's wobbly. No, it, it is just starting to touch the bottom of it, but um, I think I would like more oil than that, so I'm going to have to nip out in the nipper to get some. Well, there we go, nipper to the rescue. And um, all it cost was £13.85 for one litre of oil. I mean, honestly, the next time you complain about fuel prices, what about engine oil prices? That's just insane. Um, hopefully this will now top it up and um, will actually touch the dipstick. Right, um, air cleaner must live in here. Is that full up? Oh, yes, there we go. Oh dear God. Jeepers. No wonder it's been feeling a bit flat. Ugh. Yuck. I would suggest it's breathing a bit heavily, wouldn't it, really? Look at the state of that. Good grief. Thankfully, we, we have a new air filter sitting over here. 
I guess it is quite an unusual shape. So I think we'd better get that fitted. Minginfilters.com Right, we'll just start her up then. Yep, the oil light just flickered briefly. I had filled the um, oil filter beforehand. Sounds all right. Let's get the oil circulating a bit. And uh, we'll just do a leak check and um, let the level settle again. I'll have to get her off the ramps really. But, um... There's a bit of a dribble going on under there, but I don't think that's um, leaking out now. I think that's just um, residual. Sorry, I wasn't showing you where to go. It really doesn't focus well in. Look, I've just changed the app on my phone, um, which I use for video, and I can't say I'm overly impressed at the moment. But, um, yeah, I'll just clean that off a bit, I think, just so I can make sure it's not leaking, and then we'll be able to call it done. Uh, I haven't changed the fuel filter because one didn't come in the service kit. Um, I think given the state of everything else, that should be done ASAP. I wonder where it is. Hmm. An interesting question. Right, we've um, working the engine up a fair deal, I think. considerably peppier considerably peppier I don't really believe that can just be due to an oil change maybe that's the effect of that clogged air filter that the engine just couldn't breathe it now sounds much more meaty um, so. yeah it's feeling <laughs> it's feeling lively oh, that's extraordinary so um, perhaps that laziness I was getting, which was upsetting me, was just because it couldn't breathe. That's quite extraordinary. Let's see what that does to the MPG. So we're driving quite quickly, you've got to concentrate. Opening the window for better engine noises. Yeah, there's a sound there, um, the variable intake system. Yeah, that's definitely working because um, at lower RPM, it sounds like two engines. It's very odd. Oh yeah, I think that was a good move. So. Servicing your car, turns out, is a really good idea. Who knew? Anyway, there you go. That's a bit more Rover love. I uh, still need to sort out the flapping headliner at the back. Uh, I still think it's going to be worth me going through the brakes at some point. Still got a fuel filter to change. But, um, yeah. I think we can say that was a service well worth doing. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I shall see you again in a future video. Farewell.